Pinao in Abuja, where the House of Representatives has commended the security agencies for their role in checking the menace of oil bunkering and operation of illegal refineries in the country. The House also mandated its relevant committees and security agencies and the committees and petroleum resources upstream and downstream to interface with ministries, departments and agencies in order to minimize economic losses and also avoid the pollution and degradation of environment. The resolution was reached following a motion sponsored by Honorable Wodige Otai from Akwaibum State and adopted by the House during plenary session on Tuesday. So when the uh, agencies are going in to destroy, experts should be accompanied from the relevant ministry so that, so that instead of destroying, they can also cut, take away the stolen crude. The lawmakers also contributed um, and they have the opinion that the quest to acquire crude oil illegally by non-professionals is devastating the environment and thus resulting in an estimated loss of $10.9 billion between 20, 2009 and 2011 at the detriment of the nation's growth. See with the military and security agencies destroy badges along sea routes and that affects our aqua life, it affects the activities of the fishermen, it affects the general ecosystem of the place that security agencies, most people are lobbying to go to the Niger Delta area. Because if these things are not destroyed, they won't be able to account for whatever things that have been brought there. Because of course it's a business. In his remarks, Speaker Yakubu Dagara mandated relevant House committees to take legislative steps and report back in six weeks for the legislation. Meanwhile, a bill for an act to amend the Nigerian Educational Research and Development has scaled second reading during Tuesday's plenary at the House of Representatives. The bill was sponsored by lawmaker Sadiq Ibrahim from Adama State. Amended at just one in section two, the bill seeks to replace the current provision with six rather than five members. We have six geopolitical zones. In the extant act, there are five members of the council appointed, so six, uh, I propose that six be now appointed so that each geopolitical zone will have a, a representative. The bill, which has been referred to the House Committee on Judiciary, Tertiary Education Services, further tends to provide for pre-action notice of the university authority and public hearing is to hold soon. Let's take you now to Benue State, where a group has embarked on a peaceful rally in support of the anti-open grazing law, which takes effect November 1st. The group is calling on Fulani headsmen planning to invade the state to obey the law and embrace modern ways of ranching livestock. We are calling on you to stop the criminality of Nieti Ala, Kauto Hore. Since persons going about with animal killings, are occupying other persons' land. We can no longer call them animal rearers, but we can call them humans. Speaker of the State House of Assembly assured the people that the House is in full support of the law and there's no going back. And us, we see that this law that will pass, or the law that will pass, uh, should be fully implemented. Even before you came, the Federal State House of Assembly, through the majority leader, was considering also uh, raising emotional and public importance. To support the federal government's initiative to reduce the out-of-school children and to also enhance girl-child education in Nigeria, the federal government has called for the support of private sector across the states to key into the program. In a meeting with private sectors and stakeholders in Ikerekiti, it was observed that out-of-school children in Nigeria is increasing daily and therefore it's time now to ensure that something is done about it all the private sectors, civil society organizations, NGOs, and the support of the international organizations in order for Nigeria to achieve sustainable development goals. 
The President General UNESCO Reed and Earn Federation Prince Abdul Salam El Ladigbulu explained the readiness of UNESCO to collaborate with the federal government in achieving their goals. What we need to do is to get them involved, let them know the benefits of their child being going to school, either a boy or a girl. Both are equal, and let's find a common way of treating them equally. Yeah, education of girl child is very, very important. Like her mommies and daddies, they should try as much as possible to educate us to make sure we go to school so that we can be great in life to become a better person in the future. Other participants stressed the need to educate a, ch a girl child in Nigeria, saying education is a social right for every community. You're watching Galaxy TV News. We have more stories after this break. Stay with us. Thank you.